So this screenshot you've seen was just taken by a simple extension and it's just within one click and gave me all this. You're free to go ahead and take a look at it. You can zoom it, you can do some basic editing with it. So this extension is none other than go full page extension. So in this tutorial, I'm going to share with you how you can download, you can add this extension and use it to take screenshot of your complete screen in just within just one click. So all you need is to open your browser, come to the search bar, you can just search for Google and you can go ahead and search for go full page. That's the name of the extension and just hit on enter and it will bring you to this very first one. This is the good Google extension, Google Chrome extension. And you can see it over here, go full page, full page screen capture. So you can go ahead and add it to the extension, add as, a, as an extension to your Chrome and it's just going to add it for you directly. You can see it over here, it's been added. So alternatively, if you don't find it here, you can come to your extension, manage extensions and you can see it over here. Okay, go full page and you can pin it. Once you pin it, it's going to stand here. Okay, you can see it. So what you need to do is to navigate to any page of your choice. Assuming you want to take a screenshot of my Epic Digital Academy page. Um, ordinarily, if I'm to take screenshot of the whole page, I have to take this page. Then I have to go to the next page and take this page. Okay, then I have to go again to the next page, take this page, then I have to go again to the next page and take this page. But let me show you how it's been done with just one click. So you can just navigate to the top menu over here, go to the go full page extension and just click on it. And within just that one click, you can see it's now taking the screen capture of the entire pages uh, of the entire page. Okay, so once it's done, it's just going to show you the preview and this is it with just one click and all the entire page has been taken care of so if you want you can go ahead and download this in pdf okay so once you click on this you're going to take it to download in pdf fashion all right so this is it in pdf and alternatively you may want to download it in png which you can get from here by just clicking on this and it's going to give you the png version so you can see you can just click to show location and you can see it over here fully downloaded this is the pdf version and you can go ahead and zoom in to see how clear it is going to be you can see the clarity in the image is very very clear very very clear this is next level when it comes to the screenshot you can see it's very perfect now let me show you another feature of this very uh, extension that i find exceptionally useful and you can make use of it to enjoy it this image that it has snapped you can edit it by coming to edit over here and in this editing you can do quite a lot of things for example you can um come to shapes and add in different shapes in cases you want to highlight any section assuming i want to highlight this right top Maybe you can navigate around, you can come to the edges and stretch things, you can highlight this and you can add in different things. Maybe you want to add an arrow, you can just click and add an arrow saying that so you can take the arrow and navigate around and you can move it accordingly however you want it. Okay, you can just pinpoint any location of your choice and select this and move it to any point. Okay, so and you can add text also if you want if you want to add text you can just select and you can be able to add the text just navigate around and you can add your text all right so you can add your text directly from here and you can easily move around and you have access to all the text editing features like the fill color you can change it to any color of your choice assuming i'm interested in white color you can see i've changed it to white once you select you can change color you can change the width you can bold you can italize and you can change the type of the font style different type okay and go to any type of the font style you can play around with the sizing over here okay so you can make it 50 to make it much bigger and you can resize the box to accommodate everything all right so you can play around with the width and the height the x y and the height okay directly manually from here now alternatively also you can still come and add in the stickers if you're interested you can add any of the stickers with just one click you can just take it and put it position it anywhere now one last thing that i want to show you on this is you can see that there's there's layers to this it has it has it, these features layers okay if you don't want this text for example this emoji 
you want it to be below this text right now is ahead of the microphone if you want it to go below you can just select the microphone as a layer and move it up and you can see the text is now above the micro the the emoji okay so this is how it is being done you have uh, access to a bunch of features as well uh, you can do cropping you can crop your image accordingly and for example you can just select and you have the option to crop the image directly by just selecting and you can crop maybe the uh, top of the page you can just select and you crop it uh, you can see done cropping and that section that you've selected is now going to be cropped okay so just like so so you're free to just give it a try and explore to learn some of the key basic things that you may want to learn from this but i find it exceptionally useful so ladies and gentlemen this is a bit about how to use a single extension with just one click to take a screenshot of your entire web page or they about i hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching and i look forward to seeing you in the next one bye